Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Research and Analysis. My name is Dr. Kamran. In today's tutorial, we will talk about variable view and the label view in SPSS and how to use these two functions while performing our analysis in SPSS. So in every SPSS file, there are two kind of views. One is variable view and other one is data view. For entering the data in SPSS, we need to enter our questions in the label view. For example, if we have four questions for social presence and here we have put all four questions. And in order to identify these questions in the analysis, we have used different symbols just to identify these items in our analysis. And you can see we have put the symbols of SP1, SP2, SP3 and SP4. And these four uh, items are representing social presence. Once I am done with the variable view, then I can put over my data in this data view. While running analysis, for example, I am going to run a reliability analysis and I am interested to find out the Kronba alpha value of social presence. So I will go to analyze, then scale and reliability analysis. And from here, I will select four questions of social presence. And you can see here are given all the questions, but sometime and this labels, these are actually the questions, but sometime you have certain constructs that have to have some sort of similarity in terms of questions and then can make you a bit confused which are the items that are relevant with a particular construct. Like for example, here uh, we have the first variable social presence so we can easily trace out after the demographic variables we have four questions of social presence but what if we have to select and the items of any other variable which are coming after this particular variable then it can make us a bit confused which of the items that are belong to a specific construct so in order to avoid this confusion we can just uh, change the view into the variable names names are the symbols and from here we can easily trace out any of the items that belong to a specific construct for example if we uh, are interested to examine the liability analysis of social presence so we can easily just trace out these are the four questions that are relevant with social presence and i will select scale if item deleted and just okay and now you can see I can uh, analyze my data like this and I can also perform other functions including the computation and so many other analysis in SPSS but this label view and the variable view uh, in the analysis can help me to identify the relevant questions that belong to specific construct. I hope this video will be helpful uh, in your analysis. Thanks for watching.